you prepared a nice warm cup of coffee and you let it sit in your dining table. Now that you'd like to drink it, it's cold. It's definitely your fault, but there's a scientific concept you can also blame for it. Entropy. Heat spontaneously flows from hotter to colder bodies and not the other way around. By doing so, temperature equilibrates and entropy increases. Entropy is a universal and profound concept that is central to understand so many systems, from computers to living beings and even the entire universe. And this is because entropy underlies a truly fundamental and general law of physics, the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy increases over time in isolated systems as they tend to equilibrate, much like the temperature of your coffee equilibrated with that of the room. But what exactly is the entropy of a system? Well, systems are made of many small parts. Entropy measures in how many ways you can arrange the parts so that the whole system still has the same large-scale properties. This is a little abstract, so let's consider an example. Ink mixing in water. Let's first look at its large-scale properties, or how physicists call it, its macroscopic state. Consider two snapshots, one in which the system is in an ordered macroscopic state, and the second one in which the system is completely mixed. To grasp the meaning of entropy, let's now zoom in and look at the system as a large collection of tiny particles, water molecules and pigment particles. In the initial ordered state, if we swap either two pigment particles or two water molecules, the overall order of the system is not affected. However, we cannot swap a pigment with a water molecule without making the system more mixed. So in the ordered state, there are relatively few rearrangements of the particles that can keep the large-scale order. As entropy measures the number of such possible rearrangements, ordered states have low entropy. In the mixed state, however, there are many more ways to rearrange the particles without destroying the macroscopic state. So the entropy of the mixed state is higher than that of the ordered state. Ink and water evolve towards higher entropy states, as dictated by the second law. But why is that? Why do we never see ink spontaneously the mixing from water, or coffee getting hotter at our dining table? The second law seems to select the sequence in which things can spontaneously happen. In other words, the second law imposes a direction of time, and this direction seems to be from order to disorder. Watch other science sketches to learn more.